Hi, YouTubers, Project Zombie is a great survival game if you like this genre. I personally like it a lot, it's a wonderful game. But, it could arguably still not be considered a 3D game, it's more like 2.5D game. And the game lacks of storytelling and some modern technology such as solar panel and the likes. In addition, the variety of guns is limited, so I decided to make my own 3D zombie survival game taking some insights from Project Zombie. Let's see how 3D Project Zombie like. I'm thinking about to replicate Project Zombie in 3D and adding some other interesting features. This game is at a very early stage. I'm thinking a story that commences in a quarantine town where the zombie virus originated. You assume the role of a military soldier who was dispatched on a mission here with your team. However, an accident occurs that leads to the separation of you and your team. You must survive and make your way through this abandoned town. Eventually, you discover that the outside world has also undergone a transformation, and you must strive to survive and save as many people as possible. Eventually, I want it more like The Walking Dead where you would have different groups of NPCs and you can help with them or loot them. You can use your bare fists to attack, but certainly you don't want to attack a zombie without weapons. Let's take a look at equipping an assault rifle. When equipped, you can hold the left mouse button to aim and rotate, similar to Project Zombie. If you rotate within certain range, only the player's upper body will turn to the pointer, controlled by Unity's rig system. I will explain the design of this mechanism later. However, when your left mouse aiming exceeds that range of rotation, the player will initiate a rotation animation, orienting themselves toward where the mouse points. Now, here is the surface impact system shines, you see the bullet would give you different impact effects when hitting different surfaces. I like this a lot, which I've learned from Lamb Academy, I'll put a link of his tutorial below in case anyone is interested in it. The tricky part is incorporating this impact system into my own game. I've spent quite a few days learning every line of code so that I can fully understand and change many parts and designs to fit into my project. Here, you can see that when the bullet hits the metal gate, it creates sparks, hitting the ground generates dust, and later you will notice that when a zombie is hit, it starts to bleed. Also you can switch to a handgun like pistol. You can also hold an aiming button to shoot downward, useful for taking out any zombies crawling toward you. Then let's equip with a powerful weapon the grenade launcher. It would create bigger and wider damage. And by the way, this 3D top-down Project Zombie-like game means you can rotate your camera as well. Now let's find a zombie to attack. Let me show you when you equip a sword to attack zombie. Some zombies are moving very slow which I may need to improve a bit. Now switch to handgun, you will see each bullet hit the zombie would create bleeding impact. So far the zombies are all moving in slow mode, they would wandering randomly and once they saw you they would chase you. Slowly. I intend to add some fast walkers later. Let's see how powerful the assault rifle is. A significant advantage of an assault rifle is its capacity to inflict continuous damage on zombies. 
the more hits you achieve, the greater the probability of causing the zombie to be pushed backward, thereby reducing its speed toward the player. However, the drawbacks are as follows. The longer you hold the firing button, the less accurate your shots become, and this action also results in quicker consumption of your ammunition. So be careful, I've designed that some zombies may ambush you. Here we go. Let me show you how powerful the grenade launcher is. It would create huge damages to zombies in a wider range and more bloodshed effect. I'd like to show you another aspect as well. When you swing a sword or sprint at a high speed, your stamina will decrease accordingly. In addition, the grenade launcher can also create a ranged explosive damage over targets in certain area. Here, I'll show how the rig was designed. The key is to separate the rig controls. I've used the spine rig to control the player's horizontal aiming rotation, and the chest rig to control vertical aiming rotation, so there won't be any weird or twisted behaviors. Additionally, the rig only becomes active when you hold the right mouse button. This means that when you hold down the right button, the weight value within the rig shifts from 0 to 1. The tricky part is remembering to use coroutines or similar methods to update the weight value of the rig. This is necessary because Unity's animation rigging pack employs a multi-thread design. Consequently, the normal way of setting a value does not work. That's all for now. Hope you like this. I may continue to work on this 3D Project Zombie. See you next time.